The five attorneys for Maui fire victims are pushing back against the governor's offer of million dollar death and injury payments if they drop their lawsuits. Dozens of lawyers were in federal court today to begin the fight over where the case should be tried. Our Darrow Huff has the details. What's happening now is sort of a battle over home field advantage with the organizations being sued like HECO and Maui County wanting the case heard here in federal court. While the attorneys for victims, they want the case back on Maui. Right there, that's the power line that started. Hawaiian Electric's lines and maintenance were blamed by many for the fires. The company argued that the 5,000 plaintiffs and nearly 100 lawsuits required the resources of federal court. But victims' attorneys call it a stalling tactic. It will take longer in federal court. We've made great progress in the state court already. Today, some were surprised when Maui County, which blames HECO for the damages, joined HECO in preferring federal court. Coordination-wise, federal court has more resources, the ability to do things quicker versus Maui County, where one judge has been assigned to do the case. The county of Maui should be agreeing that the cases need to be heard on Maui, where the county of Maui is, in front of Maui people, Maui citizens. And that was extraordinarily surprising to the plaintiffs. For victims and families, there's another choice, the Ohana Victims Fund, into which lawsuit defendants have pledged over $162 million, including $75 million from HECO, $60 million from the state, $15 million from landowner Kamehameha Schools, and $10 million from Maui County. We're trying to get people as whole as possible sooner rather than later. The governor said yesterday death and injury payments of one and a half million dollars per victim could go out by February, but attorneys are advising clients they may be giving up too many of their rights. The payoff option, you get money quicker, but it's going to be it's going to be less money. Um, litigation, I mean the reason why they're paying a million dollars is because they know it's worth more. The biggest beneficiary is the defendants, the people who started this fire. Which is unfortunate. Unfortunately, it's Hawaiian Electric and the other parties. Attorneys said to be fair, the funds should pay the victims now and let them pursue the rest of what they deserve in whatever court they end up. During an hour and a half hearing, the magistrate judge tangled with dozens of lawyers about how to organize and speed things up. But still, the next hearing isn't likely until March. Reporting from Federal Court, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.